hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a new spring boot application and we connected our spring boot application with the mysql database and in today's video we will create a new angular application and after this we will install ui library as well so let's get started so as you can see i am in the same folder where i have my backend quiz server application and now in this folder i will right click and after this i will click on show more options and after this i will open this folder in the terminal and in this terminal now we need to give the command to create a new project which is ng new and here we need to give the project name and i will give this as quiz web and now let's hit enter and now it will ask us some questions and the first question is which style sheet format would you like to use and from the options we will choose scss and after this it is asking if we want to enable the server side rendering and we will answer this question as no and after this as you can see the npm packages installation started and now let's wait for some time and as you can see the packages installation completed successfully and as a result we got a folder with the name of quiz web which is our angular application and now we need to open this folder in the vs code so let's right click on this folder and after this we will click on show more options and then we will click on open with code and as you can see we got our basic angular project in the vs code and now we need to run this application so we will create a new terminal and in this terminal we will give the command npm start and as you can see our front end application is up on port 4 to double hundred and now let's go to the browser and let's hit this url and in the browser upon hitting the local host 4 to double hundred we got the basic angular page and this page says hello quiz web congratulations your app is running and now we need to install the ui library in our angular application and in our angular application for the ui library we will use ng zoro and after opening this website on the introduction page we will scroll down and as you can see here we got the installation command now let's copy this and let's go back to our angular application and in the vs code we will create a new terminal and after this we will paste the command here and then we will hit enter and as you can see we got the message that the package ng0017 will be installed and executed and now let's answer this as yes and as you can see the packages installation got started and as you can see the packages got installed successfully and now we need to answer some questions and the first question is enable icon dynamic loading and we will answer this as yes and after this it is asking to set up the custom theme file and we will answer this as no and after this it is asking for the local code and we will choose en underscore us and after this it is asking us to choose the template to create the project and we will choose this as blank and as you can see our ui library got installed successfully and after this our project got recompiled without any errors and now let's go to the browser and in the browser as you can see our home page got updated and now it is showing the logo of ng zoro which means our ui library is working fine and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create user entity and related files in our spring boot application